Uh, let's go back to this John Lewis business. Let's we'll start with the audio soundbite support here. We're going to start with Lewis himself. This all happened in an interview with F. Chuck Todd for Meet the Press. And they, they pre-taped this on Friday. So NBC knew what they had, and they started promoting Sunday's Meet the Press uh, with uh, little sound bites of what Lewis said in his interview. And this is it. Chuck Todd said, you have forged relationships with many pre- – this just – this galls me. This 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 treatment of John Lewis as as some current American hero when he has become he was, folks, at one time, don't misunderstand, but he's become nothing more than a party hack. And he's living off this event that happened fifty years ago because the media and the Democrat Party keep propping it up for obvious political reasons. So Chuck Todd says you forged relationships with many presidents. Do you plan on trying to forge a relationship with Donald Trump? It's going to be very difficult. I don't see this president-elect as a legitimate president. You do not consider him a legitimate president. Why is that? I think the Russians participated in helping this man get elected, and they helped destroy the candidacy of Hillary Clinton. I don't plan to attend inauguration. It would be the first one that I miss uh, since I've been in the Congress. You cannot be at home with something that you feel that is wrong. That's just pure Democrat Party hackism, folks. That's not the civil rights movement. That's nothing. That's nothing to do with Martin Luther King. That's nothing to do with anything that happened to John Lewis 50 years ago. This is pure Democrat Party hackery. I think the Russians participated in helping this man get elected, and they helped destroy the candidate. You can say, who's going to believe this? I'm telling you, we don't know who's going to believe it. This is the point. There are still low-information voters out there, and the media is still the media, and the Republican Party is still the Republican Party. The only game-changer so far is Trump. Well, and of course, us here on talk radio, who have 28, 29-year track record of fighting back and pushing back on these things, which is why Obama's out there blaming me for the fact that the Republicans couldn't get along with him. That's coming up, too. But if anything, it was the Hillary Clinton nomination that was illegitimate. Because whoever did the hacking, nobody has ever disputed what was revealed in the Podesta emails and in the hack at Debbie Blabbermouth Schultz's computers at the DNC. They rigged the game against Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders was the subject of cheating, vicious cheating. Hillary Clinton lost in 2008 when that nomination was guaranteed her. Obama came along and they abandoned Hillary as fast as they could for him. Well, they, Hillary people were not going to let that happen in 2016. So she got together with the DNC and they rigged this game. Bernie Sanders was winning primary after primary after primary. And it was Hillary's delegate count that kept increasing and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. If anybody was legitimate, illegitimate in this campaign, it was Hillary Clinton and her nomination. John Lewis can't prove the Russians helped Trump get elected. Nobody can prove it. It isn't there. There is no evidence that the Republicans or the Democrats had anything with their election efforts hacked by the Russians. There is no evidence the Russians hacked votes, vote counting, vote casting. None. Zero. Zilch. Nada. But that's not stopping the media. It's not stopping the Obama administration. It's not stopping people like John Lewis from spreading this falsehood, this lying narrative that the only reason Hillary lost was because of the Russians. And they're trying to engrave that. Everything they're doing is designed to create this impression in Trump supporters' minds and everybody else's mind that there's nothing legitimate about Trump's win. That's why I cringe when I see these Republicans reaching out to John Lewis, begging him to change his mind and show up. We need to be unified. You're, you're, you're begging a Democrat Party hack. It's like begging Obama to change his mind on something. It isn't going to happen. Up next, Reince Priebus. He was on this week with George Stephanopoulos, who said, isn't it harder for the Obama administration to tell Democrats to come together and try to work with the Republican president-elect after a tweet like that. Well, 
wait a minute, what he's talking about here is Trump's tweet to John Lewis. Once again, Trump didn't start anything. Trump was minding his own business. It was John Lewis that trashed, John Lewis that disrespected, John Lewis that attacked, John Lewis that went after Trump as illegitimate. And everybody knows what Trump's going to do. Everybody says, John Lewis is really smart. He baited Trump. There's no baiting. Everybody knows what Trump's going to do because Trump's an honest, upfront person in this regard. If you attack him, he's going to hit back. I had him on this program back in October, asked him about it. He said that he does it because when people lie about him, he's not going to let it sift in. He's not going to let it stand. He's not going to let it get established. He's going to fight back on it. He's not going to let his family name be impugned or his name be impugned. So when things like this happen, he's going to hit back. The Democrats think they're really baiting Trump and he's an idiot and you can really get him to make a fool of himself. What people don't understand is that Trump supporters are standing up and applauding this stuff. This is exactly why Trump was elected. People like John Lewis and all these other Democrats is exactly why Trump was elected to stop these people, to take power away from these people and end the way they have been doing damage to this country. And it's not pretty to see them react to them losing their country. It's not pretty at all. It's what we're in the middle of. So the premise of the question of Priebus, boy, Trump's really an idiot. How in the world can he expect a Democrat to work with him when he tweets out something like what he tweeted about John Lewis? John Lewis stood up in an interview and said that Donald Trump was not a legitimate president. That's insanity. And it's wrong. And DNI director Clapper said as much many, many times that there is no evidence that any outcome of the election was changed. President-elect Trump won 30 of 50 states, more counties since Ronald Reagan. This man won in an electoral landslide. And to question the legitimacy of the next United States president, you know, and you're worried about a tweet that says, hey, why don't you get back to work instead of questioning my legitimacy? Too bad. Uh, Mr. Priebus, just just to make sure you know, uh, they're not questioning legitimacy. They know Trump's legitimate. That's one of the things that's bothering. What they're trying to do is change public perception of Trump. They're trying to get his presidency and his election, the transition, everything about it, declared illegitimate. They want that to be what people think of. First thing they think of. When the 2016 election is mentioned, they want people's gut reaction, knee-jerk reaction to be Russians elected Trump. Russians stole election for Trump. Russians cheated Democrats. That's what they're trying to establish here. Take away any Trump mandate. Take away any respect that Trump has. That's what they're trying to do here. That's why I'm calling Lewis a party hack. He's doing Democrat Party dirty work here. And he's got a bubble around him. He's protected. He's insured. Nobody can criticize John Lewis because of what happened in 50 years ago in Selma. It's a time-worn, honored trick that the Democrats use, and they use all kinds of people with disabilities, or racial history, all kinds of people they throw up there that they think are inoculated from criticism. And those days are over, and Trump is showing it. Up next, Jonathan Carl, ABC's This Week. Well, I don't. Here, yeah, I think the, the bite is self-contained. So here's here's John. Incredible Carl. how unnecessary it was. He really created something that, that he it didn't. It doesn't need to seem do. like anyone around him can stop those early morning tweets. They're not handling the John Lewis flap the right way, Curly. People like John Lewis and all these other groups, you have to start building bridges towards. This week was a disaster. Donald Trump is a bully who thrives on division. Martin Luther King weekend, he takes on John Lewis. Anyone who has, I don't want to call it audacity, it's too good a term, to appoint Jefferson Beauregard Session as attorney general should damn well be respectful of John Lewis. What the hell is that? This is the Stephanopoulos show roundtable, by the way. And that was Katrina, Hurricane Katrina Vandenhoevel of the nation. And he said, Trump's a bully, thrives on division. Martin Luther King weekend, he takes on John Lewis. Anyone who has, I don't want to call it the audacity, too good a term, to appoint Jefferson Beauregard Sessions as attorney general should damn well be respectful. What the hell does that mean? These people are sick, folks. They are unhinged and deranged. Donald Trump didn't attack anybody. What's he supposed to do? Here is a member of the Congress on the Democrat side who goes on Meet the Press and says, I don't think his election is legitimate. I think the Russians defeated 
Hillary Clinton. I think the Russians helped him beat Hillary. I think that I'm not going to go to the inauguration. He's not. What's Trump supposed to do? The definition. Oh, he's supposed to be the bigger man. He's supposed to reach out to Congressman Lewis and try to find some common understanding, some common ground. Yeah, Trump's supposed to grovel. Well, screw that. Why grovel with the losers? Why grovel with the people who have given us the current state of the United States of America? Why grovel to people whose objective has been to divide the people of this country in as many ways as they can? I, this, this is it's, it's, it's entirely frustrating. And sit tight because I'm going to explain it as best I can. I've got to take a brief time out, though. Hang in there. We'll be back before you know it.